My name is James Bradley Brandt. I'm a Special Operations Supervisor in the Swanton Border Patrol Sector. Okay, so this is exit 22. It's the final exit on Interstate 89 before you enter Canada. And I'm coming to the area called the Tree Farm. So we're in Vermont. We're in this Ver is the U.S. Yeah, side. Right, we're in Vermont. This is the U.S. side. Um, if we walk down a little bit, you can see the port of entry, or we can walk up here. And we call this area the Tree Farm in Swanton. And we do see a lot of traffic here. That's why the agent was waiting. It's a good spot to sneak into the U.S. because somebody can be dropped off in Canada, enter these woods, walk out while somebody else drives through the port of entry and just picks them up over here. We've intercepted a lot of groups or a lot of loads, smuggling loads, where people were being smuggled north at the same time people were being smuggled south. So there's guides, people that know this area know it really well and have been smuggling up here is smuggling's their career. So when's the last time you saw somebody trying to uh, jump the border here, oh, going north? This happens all the time. I mean, not every day, but it's a weekly or bi-weekly occurrence. Somebody will get really? dropped off from here and go north. Yeah. How do they know about these places? Social media, word of mouth. The immigrant communities are pretty tight in the U.S. When I first came up here, we had a lot of Colombians going north here. We've had a lot of Africans going north here also. So, so these are the maple syrup tapping lines. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, they're great when you're running through here at night after somebody. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. This open area, you see this looks like a meadow. That's the slash, that's the border. So this is another spot? There's the slash again. Where? See that gap in the trees? Oh yeah. That's the slash. This is the it's international. It's kind of hard to tell this is an international border right, right here. Right, yeah, yeah. See the horses go back and forth all the time? But there's a hardball. <laughs> They're ball. dual citizens, <laughs> yeah. those horses. But there's a hardball road that comes right up to here. So this is a Canadian house? That house is in Canada. There's the border monument right there. And so we rely on the locals, you know, because there's a person that lives right here. He lives there. You know, the people that live along this road to, to, to call and report anything suspicious because... And have they? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's happened in the past quite a bit. If something's going north and they report it, we call the RCMP and the RCMP comes here and deals with it. They're, they're our partners. It's Canada's border, too. So we have to work together. Yeah. So where are we here? Okay, so this is the line room. And we do see a lot of traffic both ways and do see a lot of northbound asylum traffic in this area. Nothing like the Roxham Road, but you, you get a, five or six people every week or two or three times a week going north into Canada. What can you do? We can't do anything because most of the people that are doing it are, are have legal status in the U.S. They'll actually take a taxi to this location and then cross into the U.S. We have a lot of technology, so both us and the RCMP have a lot of technology in this area, so we can detect that when it's happening. But for the most part, from a legal standpoint, if you have valid immigration status in the U.S., there's nothing we can do. And that includes a tourist visa, which is temporary. Well, it's kind of odd that we can grant a visa to someone that has no intention of um, honoring the requirements of the visa. Now, of course, we've seen a real rise in border jumpers this year. Mm -hmm. So what's to think they won't keep coming? I don't know. I think, I think if the, they, the, those people believe that their, their likelihood in Canada of actually being granted permanent asylum is high, they'll continue to do that. I think it's a difference in immigration laws created this situation and I don't know how to fix it. Mm -hmm. 